ลงโอเค Welcome back to it Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our third quarterfinals doubles We got the ladies on the court United States USA Team USA taking on Team Bolivia Ronda Rasich Erica Mania in the front They won the toss They serve first The Bolivians in the back Dean Bear in the booth Gary Mazaroff Gary first of all Good day uh, Match number three of four Absolutely Dean This is exciting racquetball Ronda looking already for an avoidable And I think She I think she got it That's one One zero Gary, Not yet Well she's marking the scorecard I don't know who's working the uh, We'll come back to that See if that was a point Zero serving one. Yeah, she called the score, but I don't think she's working the uh, the scoreboard up top. So it's zero one USA serving. No, Bolivia. Uh, uh, Bolivia serving. serving. Yeah. Excuse me. Correct. Diana Aguilar from Mexico is our head official. The Bolivianos in the front is Angelica Barrios and Mika Meneses. Two lines people, one from Colombia, Gomez, one from Mexico, Morales. Interesting fact, Mika is also playing in the juniors division of this event. A double qualifier for her. Look at Ronda burying that piece. ball. Half out, 1-1. One, one. Dean, I had the opportunity to speak to one of the USA coaches, uh, Malia Bailey. And she said the keys to this match, one on the left side, Ronda hitting half lobs to Barrios, and two if Mania can play her game. And we both agreed that the, no pun intended, the trump card here is Ronda Rasich. Yeah, well, I watched Ronda at USA Nationals, and she definitely took a dip into the fountain of youth uh, in Nationals because she just played lights out, and we see her this weekend. She has the USA on her chest and her back, and she plays phenomenal. She really rises the game. As she like this, as she also says, because I've asked her numerous times, she's like, I'm built for these moments. That's good that's, for her. That's a, that's a very telling um, tale of her mental state in, in situations like this. Agreed, agreed. 2-2. Two, That's an appeal. One appeal you. lost early for Team Bolivia, Dean. Skipped in. And and Ronda knows Angelica's um, uh, Barrios' game. They both they both get are under the tutelage of Jim Winterton. Skipped in. That's a half out. We're at, we're at 3-2. Points are scoring pretty quickly here they for are, the ladies. They are. Look at that serve, drive serve behind her back. That's tough. Make that 4-2. As you said, Manessa's playing in the junior division for Bolivia as well. Yeah, so unlike the other ladies, she played today pool play for her singles earlier this, this morning. The junior pool play is going on right now on about probably eight other courts other than this center court. Mania. That's strong. In the corner. Well, Ronda's not following Malia's prompt. She's going with those drive serves and they're working. Yeah, again, I know I said it before, but I gotta repeat it because Bolivia's on the court. Um, Bolivia is spread thin on the coaching side. 
a lot of the players, you know, there's juniors playing on the other court. Conrado Moscoso is coaching them. So they're, they're kind of coaching each other. There's very few um, team coaches here. Uh, I know Felipe Mercado Sandy, he is, uh, he's coaches some juniors and he's here to help some people, but he's not their official coach. So, you know, very, very yeah. interesting fact for the, the level of players they have. Um, they need a coach here. They need someone taking care of them. That's true. And Moscoso's father, Conrado Sr., has been one of the coaches. It's a federation concern. Uh, the economics may not lend themselves to, to doing so. Yeah. This is a long event for singles, you know, for the adults and the juniors first. I mean, uh, for, for having adults and juniors at the same event, it's a long uh, tale as we'll find out because we'll be here for both. We may be playing vicariously but they're on the court sweating. Yes. Another point for Bolivia on an unforced error by Ronda. We're at 6-4. That was a two bounce get. I like the fact that Ronda played it. She's not waiting for the call. She's gonna do what you know most professionals do is assume the get's good and play through. Erica Mania hails from Colorado, Rhonda from Arizona. Seven four. That's a great serve, Dean, down that glass. Yeah, Rhonda skipped in an easy one. You know, she wants that one back. They got a, not, it's not a gigantic lead, but they're in the lead, so their their mentality is probably a little bit different. Ronda's the type that likes to keep her foot definitely on the gas. Good response by Team Bolivia coming in to serve. You know, all these, um, all four of these ladies um, have played a lot of racquetball within the last, say, month. Um, they've been at, at uh, LPRT Pro Stops, all four of them. You know, they had two in, they had one in Arizona, and then they had one in Chicago right after that. All these ladies were there, so a lot of racquetball being played by these, by these gals. Another skip by Ronda. Great get by Barrios. Oh. Five, we'll adjust seven. the score. It's five seven, folks. down right side definitely Mania. definitely two types two different types of teams here the USA uh, obviously Ronda Rasic and Erica Mania are very vocal very animated they show a lot of emotion and uh, the Bolivians are very stoic they're they're young and unseasoned and um, and quiet and Eric is a Eric is appealing that directly right away that she crossed the encroachment line Disagreed, disagreed. That's a replay. Mika automatically was was asking for it, and referee um, automatically gave she it. She called encroachment, correct? Yes. So the fact that she rolled it out has no bearing because once you stop play, you stop play. It'll be a replay. No appeal used. Good kill. So Erica's got to recognize when Angelica has that backhand. Most of her body is angled towards the corner, and when that happens, a pinch is the only shot coming. She's got to recognize that. Set up. There's the shot. Down that glass. Side out. One point T. Team what USA I, lead, Dean. What I really want to see from Erica Mania is when she's got that set up, you'll see, if you watch, Angelica's really taking a step back before she shoots 
If she can kind of recognize that and throw in a reverse pinch, it will be in a very easy winner. And look at that pinch there by Ronda Rasic. 8-6. The young 20-year-old Ronda Rasic. <laughs> Different twist that time. High lob into the center. Skip ball. See, that's what I mean. Both players were kind of stuck on the left side of the court, and a reverse pinch is a winner right there. It doesn't have to roll, just has to kind of make it. Ronda kind of, uh, Ronda pushed that ball into the corner. He just needs to finish her swing. Let her skill set speak for itself. These guys didn't play in pool play. Skipped in. Another USA unforced error. One point lead for USA, but Bolivia is serving. Good pass down the left, the right side. So uh, interesting fact here, Bolivia is actually the three seed here and uh, the six seed is going to the uh, Team USA. Uh, Mika is, that high lob serve is, is just a little too deep. And now she's appealing, disagree, disagree. Now that was, that's, that's a point, correct? Yes. If she called uh, no encroachment and it was disagreed that she encroached, wouldn't that be a point? She stopped play though. No, she didn't. Oh, that was a, that was in the Oh, the so there was a. It wasn't an encroachment call. Erica returned the serve and got a side out and then Bolivia appealed that she encroached Absolutely. and it was overturned. So it should have been a point. So it's 8-8. Eight, eight. And then that's a, that was an Should avoidable Should be, that's there. correct. Now it's 8-8. Eight, eight. That's accurate. Good pinch kill by Erica Mania. I want to welcome everybody into the chat box. I want to say a huge thanks to the Zurich Foundation as well as Court Wars. That's brought to you by Mania Athletics. Check them out. You'll see their commercial. Uh, as well as Planeta Racquetball. I want to thank them for their support of the broadcast here. It's a good serve, wraps around. Oh my. Handcuffed Ronda on that deep left side wall. Great yeah, shot. Yeah, but she was kind of a little bit too much against the side wall there, Ronda was. She needs to give herself a little more room there. We're gonna double serve Mika. There's the tough shot against that glass. Mika and Erica are having a little bit of trouble with that glass early here in, in game one. Now, I'm, I'm unaware if either of these teams has played on this. Ronda just hit Angelica. Has played on this court. Yeah, I don't know if they played any of their qualifying matches on this court. I know that I spoke with Alex Landa before, and he has not yet. Uh, singles or doubles. So that's gonna be an interesting fact tomorrow when he plays his semifinals in both and he'll be on the glass court. Good point. It's still 8-8. Eight, eight. Save, set up. There's the reverse pitch, but Meek is right there. Mika skipped that one in. I'll tell you, Gary, this could be the coming of age for Mika Meneses. The quality of her play is rising, not only on the junior level, but if she, if she can 
parlay that into the uh, onto the adult side as well at, at a young age that she is, that's pretty tremendous. That's a feat in itself. First of all, just being here is a feat for her. Absolutely. Erica Mania from Colorado. Serving. Empate at Ocho. 8-8, eight, eight, first game. Need a better shot from Ronda right there, Gary. That was a little too high. Uh, Eric is not going to get that replay either. And she's going to ask. She disagree. Overruled. Disagree. What did she? What did the so referee the, call? The call was replay, and there was an appeal by Bolivia overruled that ball the ball was down. was down. So it's a hand out. No appeal used. Ronda goes back with that jam to the middle, but long serve. We're seeing so here's here's the half lob we're talking about that Malia was talking about. That she if she can get body no, but yeah, half lob. lob with a Z. Two bounces. Now, if she can get some sloppy returns from Barrios, it'll pay dividends. Skipped in. 10-8 on our IRF scoreboard right there. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the IRF Racquetball World Championships. We're at women's doubles. I think that was a little too cute of a serve for her. It was great footwork by Manessis. If you noticed, she jump shifted, got her arm up to drive that forehand, and it was able to drive it for a rollout. Short serve. Z ball. Good save, but here comes a setup. Not a good push from Rhonda. I mean, she got away with it there, but that was ill advised. Fortunately, Barrios pushed another one into the floor. Correct. Hand out. High Z lob right side. And Eric. And Erica just does the right thing, goes up top. And here comes a setup off the back wall for Mania, and she skipped it in. So we're at 9-10. Again, points are very quickly here. A lot of, not too much, not too many long rallies. We haven't had a lot of empty innings here. No. If any. Ronda pulls off Erica. And Barrios skipped that one in. It's a side out. We're at we're at 10-9. Mania gonna drive serve. Uh, with a Z with a wrap around. Nice pinch kill shot by Erica Mania. Once Saviendo Nueve. Erica tracked that very well. Move to the ball and end of the rally with the forehand. Good serve. But look what uh, Mika did. She stayed with her backhand there. Set up off the back wall, coming for Racich. Pinch, roll out, run to Racich. Timeout, Bolivia. Yeah, pretty smart. 12 9. They take a break. We will too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and and, and stop their, whatever they're doing, their jobs, or, or to go watch uh, you play, I mean, that, that makes you uh, feel
feel uh, good and, and, and makes you uh, want to try it hard for, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dean Bear sitting alongside with me is Gary Mazaroff. Gary. So game one, Dean. We were tied at eight. USA just scored four straight. Three, three more gets them game one. Bolivia took a timeout. That's the 30%, so now it's 13-8. Yeah, that was a nice kind of overhand drive serve that it was very close to the camera box, to be honest. And once again, Manessas had to negotiate the glass. It's a tough gig. Doesn't make the front wall second server. Two points away, USA is trying to take game number one. Coach Jim Durham is yelling at him, don't take your foot off the gas. And we see a lot of, a lot of teams and players do that. They let up. Set up. Oh, Good diving get. Erica, over. Erica was moving when that shot was struck by Team Bolivia. You got to stop. Well, that was a very smart shot by Barrios. She recognized that Erica was jetting towards the front of the court, and she just put a nice pass in play. Skipped in, point, Bolivia, 10, double digits for them. I think that was short. That hit Erica on the way in. That's going to be a replay. Yeah, but he. Side out, USA. And But she recognized and adjusted. At so it was a very good play she, by Erica Mania. Well, she had both options, which is great. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break, too. We'll be back right here on International Racquetball. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. passion I think uh, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport uh, at the beginning of my career I wanted to be one of the best but uh, I have nothing to prove I play with no pressure I'm just enjoying every moment but uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play I mean that, that makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so 
so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, game number two. This is our third match of the day. I want to say hello to Fabio, Fabio Savaria from Tarija, Bolivia. Tarija, Bolivia. Tarija. Tarija, Bolivia. Game two. One, USA, first to strike. So, I mean, game two, it, it, it never was close. I mean, we were stuck game, at 8-8. Game one. Yeah, game one. So, in game two here, I really need, I really need, I expect the Bolivians to be a little more aggressive and kill the ball more, which obviously you just saw, that's what they did. But that's, that's what I think should happen for Bolivia to win game two. Nice shot, Nico. Right side winner pinch. Barrio serving 0 1, game two. 20th IRF World Championships. Good pass down the line, Ronda Racic. Kind of an inside out swing, ball kissed the deep left side wall and died. Got a racquetball junkie, I want to say hi to Frederick. Mantelban from Costa Rica. Every time we have a broadcast, he's on the, in the box watching. Boils down to execution, Dean. At 8 8, USA, fewer unforced errors. Bolivia, more unforced errors. Set up right there, skip. That was a good shot down that vidrio from Anessis. Half out. So uh, I want to just correct the score. It's still at 0-0. I really thought that USA scored a point before, but uh, the head referee never put a score up, never added the one. So I'm going to assume it's still not at that. Thank you. Diana Aguilar from San Luis Potosí is our head official. On the right-hand side, Alex Morales from Mexico. On the left, Poncho Gomez from Colombia. Set up, Mia. Mika Meneses rips it down the line. Still zero, serving zero. Wrap around. Puts it into the ground, point number one for B the Bolivians. If the theme continues, Dean, we'll have a tie break here. Which has been a fan favorite for two days. There it is. As Malia said, Erica, play your game. There's her game. Rips it down the line. She's really uh, effective with the short hop, even on a high lob Z. So that's why I'm, I'm wondering if, if I was Bolivia, I think I would have a little more drive Z to her, get her deep, and and force her. Don't give her the uh, the opportunity to come and attack a slow ball. I would think I, I would want it a little more harder at her. Look at the court position from Racic. She's got Barrios right behind her at times. Oh, nice. Ball cracks out at the back. Yeah, but a little too nonchalant from Ronda. She's got to, she's got to uh, put a foot, you know, just attack that ball, even though it's past her. Put her foot down on the gas yeah. pedal. Hand out. 
Good drive Z. Too many left up pitches here, Dean. Yeah, there's that Ronda push right there. Not good, but we still got a rally. Look at that get by Erica Mania. We got ourselves a rally of the game. And Rasich very, but you see when she when she wins her point, she's swinging. Look at this get by Erica right into the corner. Boom. That was fantastic. At one serves one. So these, la these ladies are on the bottom half of the draw, so they'll play, whoever wins this match will play the winner of our next match, which is Canada versus Argentina on the ladies' side. And both Argentinians hail from Bolivia. Correct. 1-1, game two. Gary and Dean here, glad to be part of the broadcast on the IRF network. Thank you to Pablo Farhe for his production skills. He's pretty good at it. 1-1 still, USA serving. Get ball. off the back glass. Ball live. Yeah, smart play by Ronda Rasich. 2-1 now, USA. Interesting serve, skipped in, point number three. Changes serve, sometimes something so little can work out in your favor, because you don't know that this is gonna be good and a nice little serve to the middle of the court. She's Now she's gonna go back to that, oh, back down the line, high lob, but wall paper. Wall paper along the glass. Point, USA. You can, throw. You, so can put, uno. you can put capitals on that wallpaper. I thought she was going to go back to that, that drive kind of wrap. She does that serve so well. Back to the middle. Now comes the setup for Barrios. Into the corner, Erica Mania. Olivia needs to be leery here. Yeah, it I could I just, get away. I said it before, Gary, but emotions. You see the emotions from the, the uh, Team USA. I don't see any emotion from the Bolivians, yeah. none. And, and neither in a positive or in a negative way, it's just flat. And I think there needs to be some emotion when you're at the stage. So her first serve was a high lob, which was Wall a ceiling table. serve. So she went. Went to the half lob, and she got a yeah. weak, re no return, actually. Yeah, but Gary, she she was, um, what was effective is that she's not only changing up the serves, but they're really good serves. And we'll stay right here. We will not take a yeah. break. They're really good serves. Her serves to the right, um, when uh, Mika's not reading it correctly, whether or not it's a, it's a wallpaper serve, or good she point. can go up and attack it. She should be attacking it. She's been able to hide it. So she goes with the high lob. She goes with the half lob. She's gone with the reverse Z high lob, uh, high Z to the right. Rhonda hit a couple drives down the middle, hit Z's to the left, and hit behind her body to the left. Yeah, so they're really mixing it up a well. Uh, excellent maneuvers by Team USA. Uh, Team Bolivia really has to like I said, I, I yeah, Ronda Rasich serving left side, USA.
Goes with the drive Z deep. Set up. Set up number two. Good coverage by Ronda, but she didn't do nothing with that ball. Two setups, nothing for it. Side out. One six. Nobody home. It was not a good serve, Dean. Nobody home on that left side. No, totally agree with you there. Um, Mika now going with the drive serve herself. And she does exactly what Erica was doing. But Barrio skipped it in. She had time. She was lazy on that. She got the setup, but didn't take advantage of it. So a quiet inning for Bolivia. Same score, 6-1. Yeah, but we, we said it before. Look at, it, look at the change up of serves. Ooh, Ronda really came out of that box and started to go towards the back wall. No need. Got to stay up. But no emotion. Uh, emotion coming from Bolivians. They need it. Ceiling exchange, avoidable hinder. Point scored for USA. Ronda sells that pretty well. She's definitely the veteran move. That's accurate, yet yeah, she didn't have to sell that one. It was a call from Deanna right away. Another Pitch point. Kill, Rasich. 8-1, the wheels on the bus are coming off the Bolivians right now. They get the side out. Erica wants a replay there, and I think she got it. One up, one down. I think she called a penalty hinder against Bolivia on Erica's contact. Uh, no need for that. No, no need for that. You got to lead. Don't give them points. Repite. It's 8 1, folks. We'll adjust the score. There it is. Down. One ball, one ball. Point number. Actually, they just went to three. The referee clicked. We're corrected, it's three now. She just changed that score from one to three instantly. Maybe she didn't hit it before. Eric has got that wallpaper pretty down pat here. She's appealing Eric, again. Eric is asking for a dead ball hinder. It appears Deanna called a point for Team Bolivia. And we'll see if there's an appeal. She did appeal, and it was over. It was call stands. So the only thing I'm trying to look for is if, uh, if that's the first or second appeal. The scoreboard call stands. So that's again. Uh, Gary, the, the referee's not helping us out here with the score and the scoreboard. She's using the pad and paper more than the... Um, they, need a, they need somebody to do the tablet. Yeah, because it's, it's important data. Appeal one. So one appeal lost. If not yet. Put down the line. Mika's there. Good pass, cross-court pass, winner by Ronda Rasich.
get. Erica going for broke into that corner. Side out. Very weird game two. Yeah, what I'm, I'm not seeing that really good serves from Bolivia that's really throwing USA off. I mean, they're they're getting returns. They're, they're in rallies. That ball hits Erica Mania. Uh, so that's a point. Should be five. There's a side out. Cinco, it's five. Freezes up on him. Mika puts that into the ground. That's a side out. Yeah, they're resetting it because it's going crazy, but it's 8-5. They do have five, I know that. Now Mika, Mika skipped one in. No. Not after losing game one. Like I said, we, we expected a little more of a fight here in game two. Point, Team USA. Erica Mania just puts it into the front wall. Very, very low. Not even a kill, but two bounces. Yeah, that's going to be a timeout. Did they take one? Yeah, timeout, Bolivia. We'll take a break, too. We'll be back. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top-flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Folks, we apologize for the technical difficulties. We'll try to do a better job on that scorekeeping and coincide with what shows on the scoreboard from the head official, Deanna Aguilar. At times, the internet is lost, and so they have to reboot their internet. And they did that. The, the score guy, uh, you know, had to reset that uh, that iPad because the, it was the, the numbers were just flying. Meanwhile, it's 10-5. Short serve. USA. USA five points away from going into the medal round, so to speak, right? And Rasich, point number 11. Once, serviendo cinco. So far, Dean, Team Bolivia has not had any answer. No, it's been no emotion. They haven't had good serves. Some of their rallies, they've, they've been playing really well. But look, it's all that, it's very defensive. And there it was, the point was right on Erica Mania's racket. Second server, 11-5. Fortunate for Bolivia, unforced error by Mania. Great serve yeah. on the race that's into the corner. That's what I was saying before. She sometimes does the same serve but does a Z 
So now we're at 12-5 with three points away from Team USA going into the medal round. From that position, she has three options. Short serve. One of the three is to hit directly to the deep left corner behind her body. She's been hitting Z's. She's been hitting jams into the middle. Now she goes with a defensive serve into the middle. And gets the return and set up Mania again. Buries it down the line. Easy shot, Erica Mania. Trece serviendo cinco. This is going to come off the back wall again, Erica Mania. Easy shot down the line. Very simple, basic racquetball. Not even a difficult serve, just a bad return. Set up off the back wall, and Eric has taken clearly advantage of it. We got match point number one for Team USA. Short ball. Ronda goes behind her back with that one. Now she's going with a different twist with the backhand, second serve. Goes with the half Z lob. Set up, Erica Mania. Diving, kill shot, Ronda Rasic, the elder statesman, finishes it off with a diving kill. Uh, I expected more of a fight from Team Bolivia. I uh, did too, Gary, I did too. I'm sorry. Not enough animation, no, probably no coaching. And uh, the theme of the weekend. Too much experience from Team USA, and they were able to Negotiate two wins straight, 2-0. Yeah, you couple all those faults together, and that's what you have. You have a 15-10, 15-5. Not, not a good showing for Team no. Bolivia in the, on the women's side doubles. And we want to thank our viewing audience for tuning in. We will have our fourth streaming match, which will be Team Argentina versus Team Canada on the ladies' side doubles. Look forward to a better match than this one. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm looking forward to see Dr. Frederic Lambert on the, uh, on the international stage again. She's taken, uh, since she's become a doctor, she hasn't really played on the professional side, but I'm, I'm happy to see she's got the flag on. Girls are warming up right now. Once again, we want to say a big thank you to the uh, sponsors here of, of the broadcast. One is Zurich Foundation, Court Wars, as well as Planet the Racket Bowl. So thank you, Planet the Racquetball, for your support here. Gary, uh, let's, let's take a quick break, and we'll be back with the final match of the night for us. Look forward to it. Lambert Iwasa from Canada, um, taking on Valeria Santeas and Natalia Mendez. Coming up right here on the International Racquetball Federation, we'll be back.